Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Dynamite, the explosive yes, you one. Are. Let's uh let's crack into another one, huh? Yeah. What do you think? You wanna keep going on about social media and how effed up it is, or are we moving on? Uh well, yeah, yeah, let's move on. All right, that sounds good to me. Let's uh, move on. I feel like that one's been driven home into the heads of the people. Yeah, that's fine. If you want to go back to yesterday, you know how it I've, goes. I mean, I do have my conspiracy theory yeah, topic. Go. You want to do that one? Let's do it. You want to do the conspiracy I'm one? I'm in. Yeah. Are you ready? I'm in. We should just turn to a conspiracy theory podcast. Okay, so I brought it up to the podcast uh, when... Uh, <laughs> What did, what did he go by? What did he go by when our last guest? Mr. X? Was it Mr. X? Mm-hmm. Was that what he went by? Right. Sure. That was a cool name. Um, last time we had a guest on the podcast, we were talking about UFOs. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, so, I got a couple. So there is... A <clears throat> How do I say this? There is going to be... I don't know if it's a congressional hearing or an interview... Um, of some sort that is going to be happening in the near future. Okay. Where they're going to be uh, discussing some of the things that uh, David Gersh has come across with. Um, I'm just going to take you down a rabbit hole. Oh, I mean, I. Okay. I mean, I. Uh... So uh, suspend your disbelief. Pretend you're watching a Marvel movie if you're at home. Okay. Okay. Is um, it Spider Man? Imagine that we live on a planet. Okay. That we know of three dimensions. Okay. 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 We only know of three dimensions. What are they? Um, you know, the three that we know. You are three dimensional. Oh, three. oh, 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 I got you. Okay. I thought he meant like like there's past, present, and future. Yeah. Like I thought no, you meant no, like that. No, okay. No. <laughs> I was like, oh damn, we're getting deep already. No. So we only know of three dimensions, but every scientist, astrophys- astrophysicist is going to tell you is that there is potential for more. Because as we study space We've we've learned that matter can act in different ways, okay. in ways that we cannot. So like fully... we can't. E- it's like the it's like the Fermi paradox. Like we can't even really conceptualize it with our mind because we aren't like advanced enough to like. It, yes, it's something we yes. don't even know exists. Essentially, gotcha, yes. gotcha. Okay, so um, like is this the way that we de- we de- we determine science is always subjective to what we have learned most recently. Right, 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 right. So there, imagine that we live where there is another dimension. Okay. That exists not only congruently with where we live right now. Okay. But we may be able to cross those dimensions. We may be able to. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, yeah, like they just like, it, they literally almost like appear out of thin air. Yes. And then go back in thin air, like same kind of uh, th- that like is an what, astro plane. So now that is what a lot of people have been saying about some of the uh, the UAPs, UFOs, um, like the Tic Tac one that um, Matt DeLanche, Mark DeLanche, what's his name? I don't Blink know. Blink 182? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tom DeLanche. Tom DeLanche. Yeah, Tom yeah, yeah, DeLanche yeah. brought out, and they had to actually say it's like, yes, these are real, um, but... In those interviews, I don't know if you actually watched them. I actually sat down. I watched the whole thing. I'm, I really enjoy this topic. So, yeah, I watched the whole thing. They say is that these things are not extraterrestrial. They're not alien in nature because that was not a lie. They are not alien in nature. They're right here. That's not an alien. It okay. was a play on words. Um, oh, yeah, because the technical definition of alien yeah. is... is- Whatever. Not from here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there are, there has been divulged that there are facilities that possibly house some of these US UAPs, and there's been a couple of uh, of people who are deep into this who say there is one or a few or a couple that are so large that they cannot be moved, so large that they've built buildings over them. Oh, what is one of the buildings? <sighs> Is that thing in Vegas? I don't know. It might be. It might be. So I want to propose to you is that I think that uh, the Ukraine war is over ownership of one of those. Okay. I'm willing to say is that a lot of wars have been waged over ownership of those. Okay. We know damn well that the reason that the government has told us what these wars are about are not what they're about. So the Nazis were trying to like get all of them. 
I mean, maybe. Alexander the Great. He wasn't conquering the world. Apparently, this has been going on since 47, man. This has been going on for a long time. 47, okay. 1947 was the first one found. <laughs> yeah, this has been going on for a while. So it's like the briefcase in Pulp Fiction, but bigger. <laughs> kind of, kind of. I don't know. And like, To give it, him the juice if you got it? Like, that's what's up? Look, apparently the technology is, like, kind of impossible for us to understand because mainly because we don't have, like, access to the minerals. Yeah. But people have been saying, like, we're moved. This is this is way deep in conspiracy. I don't know if I even buy this. People have been saying that technologically we've been moving forward so fast, and it's due to some of the developments of uh, researching the materials that we found on that's these That's what they craft. were saying, like, that Elon Musk is someone from the future, and that's how he, like, was able to, like, create Tesla and, like, all that other stuff because, like, he it's created a car company out of thin air, like... <laughs> I, okay, so that's and insane. <laughs> that's an insane take. I'm giving you insane takes. That was really insane. And you don't believe that. No, I don't, I don't believe that. I don't believe nobody should believe that. Yeah. I, and half the shit I'm saying, I don't necessarily believe, but I'm just saying possibilities are going to happen. Oh, yeah. It's interesting to like talk about those exactly. things. Exactly. 2027 is supposed to be a marking point for a. How do you say this? I don't want to say ELE, which is like an extinction level event, okay. but it's supposed to be a global event in 2027. Now, that sounds like some QAnon shit. I'm just delivering information that I've, uh, I've taken in. I mean, like, as, as much as the weather's getting whack here in the earth, like, I could see that happening. Bruh, the hottest has ever been forever and ever. Yeah, I am. Ever? Brother, well, what is that going to tell you about the, the, the other the other swing of the pendulum? We're going to have winters in Texas. Like, come on, the pendulum swings both ways. Well, right. It doesn't well, go. I mean, we had that storm that almost shut down the goddamn. I mean, yeah, that happened. I that, mean, that yeah. could happen again. Exactly. If it happened once, I mean, our hot water again. tanks out on the patio, bro. There ain't there ain't no covering for new. Well, it, that, and that was the thing. Like, once it was under freezing for like seventy two hours, the infrastructure is not built for that. Like it's built to withstand it for like 48 to 72 hours of freezing. And then after that, it just, it cannot keep it from freezing. So, yeah, so. it could be an ELE, dude. It could be, well, I mean like, okay, like weather events are getting wild. Like, yeah, the average hottest days on record ever are, we've been knocking them out of the park. Like they said, even this weekend that even like, uh, uh, God, Death Valley is supposed to hit temp like record temperatures ever, like 130 degrees or something. That's insane, bro. 130 degrees. Uh, what, what do you What do you think the uh, What do you We're think about the to go tube the river in it? <laughs> yeah, I mean, whatever. <laughs> I'll be fine. What do you think? <laughs> well, <laughs> you think that's going to be the end of the world, man? Is that what you think is going to? Is that's what's going to take us out? Is this extreme weather? Uh, the planet finally I don't think just the, shaking us off. I don't off. think the weather itself will be the issue. Uh, I think mm. the effects of the weather will be the issue. I mean, like, what? Who, no, because... <laughs> I don't who, think the gun is the issue. I think it was no. the effect of the gun that was no, the no, issue. No, 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 no. No, listen to what I got to say. It will cause issues with, like, food, water. Like, water supplies... Get, wa all the heat will evaporate the wa water supplies. Water, people will be fighting over water. If if the ground dries out from droughts, you can't grow crops. You, you can't feed animals. You can't whatever. So it will be the amount of nutrition, the way we get nutrition. People will be fighting over things like water and like wheat and like corn and things like that. It, it's not a problem now. It may not even be a problem in our lifetime. Mm -hmm. But it's that is if if the if it becomes so hot and so cold and we're not temperate, that's the reason we can't live on other planets. Is because the weather is fudge. I think. I honestly feel like there is a... Or a nuke. I feel like when it comes down to it, because we're not millionaires, billionaires, we don't have access to information. Oh, you ain't wrong. So I feel it's like that information may already be well-known, well-documented. Like, I haven't spoken to any scientists. They're not giving me any real numbers. I'm not doing any research. So the people who have may be like, yo, the world is going to end in a hundred years, what do you do? You secure assets for your family so that you are not subject to the the uh, the hardships of those end times. Thus, your family line can continue to repopulate, and you can be the future. Because yeah, we're look. 
everything, everything, nothing's forever. Everything, nothing lasts. Dinosaurs led for us. We're going to lead for something else. All right. Time keeps marching on. I wonder if that is the impetus for some of the, some of the just like behavior that you see that is going on right now. Because everything happens for a reason. I cannot just accept that Vladimir Putin, a guy who worked his entire life to do something, is going to another country just because. Just because he had a feeling. Just because his people would love it. Just be no. Well, I mean, there is a reason for everything. It's wa- money. He wants the country. Is yeah, yeah, but there's a reason that he wants it. Is it just the money? Why would he just do it, it now? Ego, he wants to go out on top. Weapons of mass destruction. I didn't even get into the weapons of mass destruction. What does that mean? All right. Well, we'll there's about nothing the there. One. No, no, it's because it's a part of this. I'm just going to talk on it real quick. Weapons of mass destruction, but we didn't find anything. Oh, I or it. did we? And they didn't tell us. Oh, Were like, they in control of the UAP? I just think is that everything happens for a reason. There's no way to do your own research they found out on this. Saddam had an alien craft and like they went and got it. Bruh. Bruh. I mean, we were collecting them. The, yeah, I think so. I th- think those so. were the, uh, I mean, those are the plots of movies. Like they find a thing, they go invade it. Why is that a plot of the movie? Because the movie theaters have been approached by people to make their stories more accurate. They have unlimited funds at these movies. They've been approached by people. That is documented that they try to make these movies as accurate to reality as possible. So they go the extra mile. A lot of these movies are just preparation, man. They're soft launches so that the blow is less deadening when it's when we can't hide it anymore. There's yeah. a reason that, that this is becoming a topic right now. I'm just saying. Just saying. If well, right. Congress is taking it seriously, there's a reason that's becoming a topic right it now. It don't get to the public until the very last. Amen, brother. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> I mean, at most things that we find out, other people have known about for a decade. Exactly. Yeah. There's so. a reason that it's a topic right now, all right? Why is there confidential information? It ain't all about national yeah. security. It exactly. ain't all about, like, our trade secrets. It's not all exactly. that. Earl, yeah. Earl robbed the liquor store, and Congress don't care. UAPs get brought up. Okay, we should hear this guy out. That's a little insane. All right, just keep keep it a buck. All right. I mean, I got a dollar in my wallet. I'll listen. I'm really pissed that Fox News is covering it too. I'm <laughs> really angry about that. I know Make that's sure. your go-to. <laughs> All right, in the episode. That's time, guys. Go over. to CurtisTown.com, Jonas. TNT. Yep.